I'll be a little silly, but I love him, so I keep him and he's okay. My fun shirt for today is, you are the bacon to my eggs. If you guys don't know where that come from, Bob Evans. How did you even know that was that shirt? Uh, the tag, when I put it on. Oh my goodness. At some point, I'll make you guys a video about um, how I know what I'm wearing. Because it's, uh, it's genius. Anyway, I, as you guys know, I do biblical counseling to help with my depression situation. And, uh, I have now realized I am angry, but I bring this because not because praying, bowing my head and praying, definitely has made a difference, and I'm very thankful and grateful for what I have around me, and um, I've really started to change my way of thinking, and I bring this up. Because just the other week of counseling, we talked about Job. If you guys don't know Job, it's one of the oldest books of uh, the Old Testament. And uh, it's about a righteous man. And God sees him as the most righteous man on earth. And his, God is talking to Satan. And he goes, Satan, you can never take Job away from me. He's too righteous. And the confidence that God has in Job shows me as a believer, now that I've taken Christ as my Savior, there is so much confidence that I will never leave that uh, it truly makes me just joyful in my existence because I can, I'm quiet, but I really am trying to be more of a witness and a servant to my Lord. So, as the story goes on, you listen to Job's so-called friends tell Job, you know, the hypocrisy of, well, if you know God and God's so great, why don't you look at yourself and, you know, what do you really think of this God? Well, as they're going through these conversations with each other, I see God as very patient. He sees hypocrisy. He sees just the outward defiance against him. But he just, he listens. He listens and at the end, when Job finally says, God, talk to me, God comes. And God shows his mercy and his grace towards Job. Because Job finally shut his mouth and listened and obeyed God. And God saw, you, you are a righteous man. righteous man and I will show you mercy and I will show you grace so Job himself gets his health back he gets his crop and all of his animals and he does get seven new children and um, with God doing that for 
Dome after the fact he just couldn't quite grasp the concept of being quiet. He showed that to him and it shows me that even though I have all my medical issues, I'm dealing with my disability, my depression, my anger. I believe and I have taken my savior. I trust him with everything I can possibly give him. And every single day, I wake up when I probably shouldn't. That right there is God's mercy showing me, I'm going to give you another day to live. I obey him. I am still a sinner. I ask for forgiveness. And I try to walk in the life of Christ. And as I do so, God will grace me with the blessings he wants to give me. And that is what I can ask for from my sinful nature. He shows me that I have taken my Savior as righteous and all-knowing and all-giving and the light in my darkness. I may not see on earth, because that may not be my time, but I'll see in heaven, but I see now, metaphorically, with the light of Christ. And I get that from God's character through Job's story. And it gives me hope with my life on earth that I may have gone through horrible things and I will still go through horrible things. But you know what? I have such a better, perfect, glorified, glorified life before me that my life now is what it is. And as I walk as a servant of my God, that um, I got nothing to fear. So I say this, Psalm 23, verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And they certainly do. So I leave this with all of you. Trust in Christ if you don't already. Please listen to his word. Take it as truth and adapt your life to it. Because you know what? What you see around you is gone in an instant. Because time will end. And uh, I thank God for what he's given me. And you know what? Christ didn't have to die for me, but he wanted to. So I will never perish. And I will always have the everlasting life. God bless you all. Have a blessed week and through the weekend. I'm going to go to the GIE. And I will be amongst friends. And I will be at the bad boy booth checking out mowers. So God bless you all. And always remember, no sight, no problem.